Hello there, welcome to the video. Today, I'm going to be doing a video today. I'm going to be showing you a rod review. Now, I've hauled this video off for a couple of reasons because me and have been too much fishing. And with the fishing being decent over the last few weeks, a couple of weeks, we've decided to get more fishing films done while the fishing's been good. Although, fair enough, some people might want to watch. Like, even if I don't catch fish, people still enjoy watching them, but it's obviously better when you get a few fish in there. There'll be no fishing film this week, but next week probably is because uh, it'll probably be another review video, maybe tackle rig video or something like that, because the fishing, well, it's started taking a downhill spiral the last couple of days. It's meant to be a bit of a sea away, so it might change, but we'll get back to here if ever happens. Uh, today at Rod Review, you might see this and say, oh, it's a sent me rod. This is a sent me rod bag, padded one, which I got for this rod, because... I had this for, I had a sent me fire blade sport and I had it in that bag. My daddy wanted to rod so I, he was liking it and liking it and so I went, I'll swap him for that. He gave us a hundred quid for the rod. Because I was trying to sell it anyway, I would have got a hundred quid, hundred and twenty pound no problem but I'll give it to him for a hundred. Got a hundred pound for that. Then I invested two hundred and fifty pound in my money to get into this. Which is... Let's just say, I don't know what word to describe it, an animal or a beast. Right, so, book cap there. Got a rail seat. This is not fixed. You might be able to see the tape under there. Now, this rail seat, unfortunately, is now and again. It doesn't look like it now, but it's it's looser than it should be, the gap. And when I, you've got that, I mean tighten it. But with this, like this, and I put a bit of tape around where I normally have it tight, because I like to fish the rail on the bottom, but I like to have a little bit of a gap. Just in case, you, just for that reassurance. But you can always, always tighten that down properly like that. When you put, you put a bit of tape, because the way it works, this rail seat is, this top bit here, what it does when you... I'll get rid of show you. There you go, if I do that. Right. Example, look. You put it in like that. And what you do is when you tighten it down, this bit here, that little bit there, pushes down and pulls into the, like, comes onto the, locks onto the blank of the rod. Like so. There you go. And that was easy. Now, if I didn't have that tape on, I would have been struggling and it's still, I had a couple of all right fish on this, like up to two, two and a half pounds. And I've been pumping it in, no problem. And then the rail seat over the Hudson slides, slides, and it's just it's, it's more for comfort as well, and just reassurance, you know. This is Sentry uh, shrink tube. Now this is a shock Sentry rod bag, Sentry rail, uh, Sentry Sentry rod bag, Sentry grip, Sentry shrink tube. Well, you're wrong. It's not a Sentry. It's actually a Ziplex, Ziplex Z Tech. Now this is quite a beefy rod. It's more of a custom rod, really. This, but honest. I mean, I, I kind of see how much I fished only about half a dozen times with it. But the first fish was a really big dogfish, so it was a good test for the first fish. Handle it, obviously, no problem. Z Tech there. It's been had this adds a blank, just with a tip on, and the the tip and the just the tip and the shrink tube already on with the rail seat and the book cap. And I've got it rebuilt by someone who I know quite well who does them for, he done it for £350 for us. In my own personal colours, in my own weapons. So as you can see there, I've got a nice gold capping. This has all been high builded over the top of the decals, which he's done himself. Z Tech, Ziplex. He'd done that all himself and it's uh, high build over there to stop that shrinking off. Move that up the way. Now we'll come down to this end. As you can see, I've got gold, black, metallic purple. Quite nice. With gold, I was going to have purple and silver, but I, I, I was having a look at a couple of designs and I went with gold. And I think, to be honest, this is the right one for me. Nice thing there. And I've got these eyes, I've never ever had them on a rod before, but doing all the new rods, apparently they're quite good. I'm, I like minimas as well myself. 
Oh, these are uh, Kia guys. They're expensive. It's like 120 pounds for a full set. Now, see this ring here. This is a, uh, but this is the multiplier version. The fixed spool has a long, wide uh, ring at the bottom. But I've got I've fished this mainly with multiplier. So the other ones with fixed spool. Bit of shrink tube here for grip protection. Uh, obviously, cut in there. Nice cut in there just to finish it off. There's the bottom half of the rod. Not much to else to be sure, really. We get onto the tip section. You've got the the thingy there, spigot. Another thing of thing. Uh, shrink tube grip. Cut on either side. You come down to the same effect there with the key guide. The same effect with the purple. Then. Trying to be a tune the second video on a row of this. Uh, just it's just black then cap gold cappings all the way down, all the way down, all the way down to this, which is I believe I'm you wrong, you put this on before you put the eyes on because it looks like as you can see under there, it's whipped it looks like and then the whippings are done over the top. So it must get put on this is mighty bright tipped here by that by the looks of it. Uh, it's been high builded over the top and everything, and lovely and smooth, very good. It's enough. You, you, I can see. It. I'm just having the light on it now, and you can see the glow on it. Very, very good. Now, ugh, this is a the Fuji the uh, Kia Guides tip ring. That uh, I've got a tip light on there just because we've well, been fishing the night, fishing that. But honest, this tip. Quite a bit bending that. It's got good detection, but it's it's not flimsy at all. Unless it takes some power, this rod is a powerful rod. Right, do a certain part of the video outside. Uh, this is the rod here. I've got a rail on just so you can understand what it's like with the rail on. There's my rod, the Ziplex Z Tech, as you can see. Same rod as the video before. And there's the spigot. This rod is a, a 13 foot 8 beach rod. And I've yet to see the recovery. As you can see, it's that one hell of a rod that. That is a Ziplex Z Tech. So hopefully, you get nice colours in the light metallic, purple, and gold. As you can see with the cabinet, you can see the width of the rod. I don't know if you can see the width of the rod there. Got a really good recovery on it. It's got a really good recovery on the tip. That's what you want for a rod. Uh, spigot either side, obviously, to hold it down. I fish the way on the bottom, so if I get a fish, do that like that and pump like that. And that's all I need really do for the rod. And that's there you go. That's the rod review in a wrap, really. Zip Reg Z Tech rod review done. Please like and subscribe for more.